friends, my name is Shayla and today I am here to film my TBR for Otaku-a-thon. So Otaku-a-thon is a readathon all based around manga and anime. I will only be participating in the manga portion. I don't have any anime that will particularly fit these prompts, so I'm just going to focus everything in on the manga that I have on my shelf. This is hosted by two lovely ladies who will both be linked down below, so definitely go give them some love and check out their announcement videos for this particular readathon. So, the first challenge is going to be most recently acquired or most recently added to your queue. For this one, I will be reading A Bride Story by Kaoru Mori. This is a older Japanese-style story about a bride. I'm going in kind of blind. Several of my friends have strongly recommended this to me. I flipped through it and the art is absolutely stunning, so I am really excited to be digging into this story. Challenge number two is to catch up on a series you're behind on. For me, that is going to be To Your Eternity. I've got volumes 7 and 8 that I will be reading during this readathon. I got my husband reading To Your Eternity with me, and he's already read these two volumes, so he's actually ahead of me right now. So I definitely need to catch up so he and I can talk about what's been going on. In To Your Eternity, we follow this orb. This orb kind of absorbs lots of things it comes in contact with, and... It's about its journey, learning about humanity and the things that make humanity tick. It's really interesting. It makes me cry all the time. So it's going to be an emotional part of this TBR, but I am still really excited to be continuing on in this series. I think it's going to be amazing. Number Challenge number three is to read a manga adaptation of an anime you love to watch or watch an anime ad ad adaptation of a manga you love. For this, I will be reading the manga of a, an anime adaptation I love. And that will be continuing on in Your Lion April. I have volume four on hand at the moment, and that's what I will be using to fulfill this particular challenge. Your Lion April is about two teenagers who are very musically talented and their interactions together and how their interactions together change both of their lives. It's beautiful, it's heart-wrenching. The anime is beautiful with the music, but the art in and of itself is stunning, so it's still really great to read the manga. Challenge number four is to revisit an old favorite. So for this one, I have opted to reread Orange by Ichigo Takano, which is part also of a buddy read for March that is being done by Lindsay Tut and Bizarre Individual. They'll both be linked down below as well. They are reading Orange in the month of March, so I decided to reread the entire series as it's been a couple of years and my orange reviews are some of the top viewed videos on this channel. So I really thought revisiting it and getting my thoughts, now that I've gotten a lot more into manga, I thought revisiting it and getting my new thoughts would, to see if anything changed about it or not, would be interesting not only for me but for you guys as well. So we'll see how this goes. Challenge number five is to start a new series. For this one, I will be starting the Case Study of Vanitas by Jun Mochizuki is what I want to say. So this is a paranormal story involving vampires. That's pretty much all I know going into this, and I'm okay with that. I like to go into new series relatively blind. Again, I asked some friends who read a lot of manga and some who are currently reading the series, and it felt like a good fit for me. Therefore, I'm going to be starting this one. Challenge number six is to read or watch a manga or an anime that's been recommended to you. So for that I'm going to be reading Everyone Get Everyone's Getting Married Volume 1. This comes on the recommendation of Simply G. Again, she will be linked down below. Anybody I talk about in this video will be linked down below. And this is a Jose title that she recommended to me when I said I'm looking for more Jose. Which ones do you guys like? This is one, as well as a bride story, were the two that she recommended. So I'm excited to be getting to both of these during this readathon. Challenge number seven is to read another series by an author you've read previously. So for this, I will be continuing on in Silver Spoon by Himoru Arakawa, who is also the mangaka for Full Metal Alchemist. That's right, this is his their new series. And this is about a teenage boy who's enrolled in an agricultural high school, even though he doesn't really have any agricultural aspirations. It's really interesting. It does get very technical, so if you like technical things, I think you'll really enjoy the series. But I've read the first two volumes, been thoroughly enjoying it thus far, so I decided to put volume three 
as this particular prompt. And challenge number eight is just something of your choice, essentially. So for this, I will be reading volume one of Welcome to the Ballroom. Welcome to the Ballroom is obviously a ballroom dancing style manga. I have heard amazing things about the anime and the manga, so I am just ready for a good dancing time. I've read another ballroom dancing series, so I'm hoping after I read a few volumes of this one to be able to compare the two to see which is better. So that's another reason why I've got this on my list. So there we are. Okay, friends, so this is the full TBR. Well, except Olive Orange. I only pulled one of the omnibuses. So this is going to be my TBR for otaku -thon. I don't remember if I mentioned the dates. It is March 1st through March 4th, so it's four days. I think I can handle this much in four days. I've been reading so much in February that I'm afraid I'm going to burn out a little bit. So I've got this readathon and re readathon that I will be doing in March. Outside of that, I think I'm going to pull back on readathons and just slow down and enjoy my reads because I have a different kind of reading project I'm working on in March. So this will be interesting for sure. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be participating in otaku -a -thon. And definitely go give everybody that's in the description some love and tell them I sent them your way. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.